Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next video. Now in this video we're going to be going through the 2018 Technical Drawing Paper 1 Pass Paper. So let's go. Alright, so the first question here says, if a triangle with a perimeter of 198 millimeters is constructed, with sides in the ratio of 2, 3, 4, then the shortest side is, and the shortest side would be 44 millimeters. And we can work out the math um, for that. It's just dividing 198 into these different ratios, and then we can see that the one that is 2 would be 44 millimeters. Item 2 refers to the following diagram, this diagram right here. In the drawing above, in order to divide AB in the ratio 4, 5, 3, by proportional divisions, it is necessary to first step off 12 equal divisions on this line AC right here, and then separate that 12 into 5, 3, and 4, or 4, 5, and 3. Which of the following circles is correctly dimensioned? It is this one with the arrows pointing from one end through the center to the next end with the diameter symbol over here. If a scale of 1 to 100 is used, in a drawing exercise, then an object 2000 millimeters long would be represented on paper as 20 millimeters long. Which of the following drawings represents a scalene triangle? This one right here represents a scalene triangle. A deep laceration to the arm by a sharp tool requires the victim to apply a large bandage and pressure to the laceration. If the perimeter of a rhombus is 152 millimeters, then the length of one side is 38 millimeters. Item 8 refers to the following diagram. AB is equal to, so this is AB right here. AB is the minor axis. Item 9 refers to the following diagram. In the diagram above, which of the labeled types of line indicate a cutting plane line? So this one right here, label 2, that's a cutting plane line. Item 10 refers to the following diagram which shows the orthographic projection of a block. On which of the following planes is the plan shown? And the plan will be shown right here. So it would be on 3, so on 3 only. Number 11. Which of the following methods of drawing an ellipse involves constructing a rectangle? That would be the intersecting lines method, also called the rectangle method. Which of the following illustrates how to bisect a straight line? That would be A. That shows how to bisect a straight line here. Item 13. A development of an object is a drawing showing the unfolding of the surfaces, so that's surface development. Item 14. Which of the following statements best describes an equilateral triangle? So is it all the sides and angles are equal? All the sides are equal, but the angles are unequal. All the sides are e are unequal, but the angles are equal. Neither the sides nor the angles are equal. All the sides and angles are equal. Number 15. Which of the following drawings illustrate an internal tangent? That would be this one right here. All right, this is an internal tangent. So for this one, yes, we do have an internal here, but we also have an external. This is just external. This is not a tangent. So this is the one that shows just an internal tangent. Number 16, a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides is a trapezium. Item 17, which are the following, I'm um, sorry, item 17 refers to the following figure. In the figure above, A, B, C, D, E, F is a regular hexagon. What is the value of angle X? Angle X is going to be 60 degrees because this angle is 120 and angles on a straight line add up to 180 so if this is 120 then this has to be 60 for the entire thing to be 180 item 18 refers to the to the diagram below in the diagram above the angle efh is 90 degrees so all the angles in a semicircle if you start from one end of the circle down here so like from this end and then you draw a line to the circumference and then back to the next end that angle is always going to be 90 degrees every single time 
Item 19. The diagram above shows the construction of a triangle when given the hypotenuse on one angle. So a side and an angle is how we would construct this right here. Item 20. Given a point P on the circumference of a circle, which of the diagrams below best demonstrates the principle of constructing a tangent to a circle through the given point? And that would be A right here. Item 21 refers to the diagram below. In the diagram above, ABCD is a parallelogram. The triangle CDE is equal in area to half of ABCD. So this triangle is half of the area of the parallelogram. So if a triangle and a parallelogram have the same base and height, then that triangle is going to be half the area of the parallelogram. Item 22 refers to the following figure. In the first angle projection, the above view x represents the x would be the front view so this is the plan this is the end view this is the front view item 23 refers to the following diagram the diagram above shows part of the construction necessary for drawing an ellipse what term describes the points e and f so those would be focal points item 24 refers to the following diagram which of the following polygons can be constructed in the circle above that has a radius of this radius 8p that would be an octagon if it was a hexagon it would be 6 pentagon is 5 a square is 4 so on and so forth item 25 refers to the following diagram the conic section at aa above appears as a parabola number 26 item 26 refers to the following figure the figure illustrated above represents a truncated square pyramid square pyramid just means that the base is square and truncated just means that a portion of it is cut off item 27 refers to the following diagram of a square equal in area to a rectangle and this is going to be equal to 55 so this is 40 by 70 that would give me the area and I would need the sides of my square here um, it says EF so EF yeah, I would need the sides of my square to be 55 to give me the same area of this rectangle so the answer would be 55 item 28 refers to the following diagram the diagram above shows the construction of a regular hexagon given the length of the sides item 29 a material safety data sheet provides guidance on the safe handling of potential hazards in the workplace item 30 which of the following drawings shows triangles of equal area between parallel lines? So that would be the first one right here. So these triangles share the same base and the same height. And if triangles have the same base and the same height, then they are going to be equal in area. Item 31 refers to the diagram below. Using orthographic projection for the diagram above with view G as the front, the end view H will be, so this is the end view. So this, would, this is what H would look like this one with the solid lines here and this line here is this line right here so this wouldn't be any broken lines because we're actually seeing that so it would be a item 32 the bisector of the line a b is correctly shown by the drawing in b right here this is the bisector these aren't the bisectors these are just the arcs that we used to get the bisector but this is the actual bisector here Number 33, when preparing a drawing sheet, all horizontal lines are drawn with a t square. Item 34, which of the following illustrates the normal of an ellipse? So this right here shows the normal. So this is the normal, this is the tangent. These would be focal points here. So this is the answer. Item 35 refers to the diagram below. On the diagram above, the ratio of the area of EFGH to that of EGIJ is 1 to 2. So this little diamond looking thing is half the area of our square right here. Item 36 refers to the following drawing. The diagram above shows the development of a truncated cylindrical pipe. So if you should fold this back together, it would be a cylinder and half of it, well the top of it is cut off, so that's why it's truncated. Item 37. Which of the following constructions shows the procedure for drawing a perpendicular at the end of a line? That would be this construction right here. So this is showing us how we would go about drawing our perpendicular at the end of a line. 
compass point here, scribe an arc with the same radius. You cut here, cut here, compass point here, cut this point, compass point here, cut that arc where these two meet. We're going to connect this point to the end of the line right here. Item 39, which of the following instruments is used to quickly draw such items as bolt heads, nuts, electrical and architectural symbols. So we could use a stencil to do that job. Number 40, which of the following constructions shows the proper method of bisecting an angle? And it would be this one right here. So compost point here, scribe an arc. Compost point here, scribe this arc. Compost point here, scribe that arc. And connect this point to where the two arcs meet. Item 41 refers to the following diagram. The lines marked X on the diagram above are symbols which indicate that the continuation of the object of the objects so this continues and that continues number 42 which of the following is a view of a right square pyramid that would be c right square pyramid means that the base is square and it's a pyramid this is a pyramid as well but the base is a hexagon this is a cone and this is a prism the true shape of the surface aa and the right cone above is that would be an ellipse so an ellipse is the true shape if it was cut right across horizontally it would be a circle all right so we move now to item 44 item 44 refers to the following construction the drawing above is to be reproduced in third angle orthographic projection and which of the following views can the distance x be measured we can see it on the plan view and the end view so that would be one and two only plan and end view item 45 which of the following diagrams illustrates the procedure for drawing a perpendicular to a line from a point outside the line and that would be b right here so we're drawing a perpendicular to the line from a point outside the line so we select a point p compass point here scribe an arc then we're going to come right here scribe an x arc come here scribe an arc and then we're going to connect um, p through the arc to get that line all right we are now at 46 in technical drawing the phrase curves meeting each other tangentially means that this, the curves will meet smoothly item 47 refers to the following diagram which of the following is the eccentricity of fp pq in the drawing above it is one to one because this is equal to that so you can see if you complete this you get a perfect square so this is one to one which means that this is a parabola number 48 when a cube is drawn in isometric projection each of its side is a rhombus number 49 triangle abc is drawn within a semicircle of diameter 100 millimeter ab is equal to 80 millimeter what is the length of bc bc is going to be 60 why is it going to be 60 because it is a right angle triangle which means that we can use the 345 method to draw the triangle what is the 345 method if one side of the triangle is 3 and the next side is 4, the next side has to be 5. So this being 100 would be that 5, this being 80 would be the 4, and then the 60 now would be the 3. And we can see where that makes sense because if we divide 100 by 2, we get 50, which would be the 5. If we divide 80 by 2, we get 40, which would, be the, which would be the 4. And if we divide 60 by 2, we get 30, which would be the 3, so a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Number 50, which of the following drawings shows the development of a square pyramid? So this right here shows the development of a square pyramid, all right, because this is the base and then these are the other four sides. Construction lines must be drawn light, very light lines for construction lines. Item 52 refers to the diagram below. In which of the following projections is the diagram illustrated above drawn? This is done in isometric projection. Item 53, if a rectangle with sides 100 millimeter and 75 millimeter is constructed accurately, then each of the diagonals should measure 125 millimeters. Which of the following statements provides accurate information about dimension lines? Dimension lines are placed between extension lines. Item 55 refers to the following diagram which shows the intersection of three isometric axes. What is the value of this angle right here? This is 60 degrees. And you might say, well, isometric is done at a 30 degree angle. Yes. So if we draw a horizontal line across here, then this distance here between the horizontal line and this line would be 30. 
but the distance between this vertical line and the horizontal line would be a 90 degree angle so if this part is 30 it means that the rest of it has to be 60 so this angle will be 60 degrees so don't get tricked by that don't put 30 if you see that question item 56 refers to the following diagram the diagram above shows the development of a this is a square transitional piece item 57 which are the following drawings is a trapezium and it is this one right here item 58 refers to the following diagram the method of construction shown in the diagram above is used to draw a tangent to a circle from a given point p so this is the point p and we're drawing a tangent to this circle from this given point p here item 59 we're at now item 59 refers to the following diagram in the diagram above ef to ef1 so from here to here is in the ratio 3 to 4 the length of ef1 is 60 how do we know that because if this is in a ratio of 3 to 4 it means that this distance is 3 quarter of this distance so if we add 15 to that now 45 plus 15 gives us 60 so that's how we know that ef1 is 60 45 is 3 quarters of 60 basically 60 which of the following layouts represents the correct orthographic projection of a shaped block and it would be this one right here so the plan view by itself the front above the plan and then the end beside the front all right good so that's the 2018 technical drawing paper one thank you for watching and have yourselves a fantastic day Thank you.